Is the upgraded intercooler actually required? Um, I don't know what tune this is for, but in general, uh, if we say an intercooler is required, then yes, it's required. If we say that an intercooler is recommended, then that means it's not required. It just simply means that you will achieve better performance um, if you run the intercooler. And so, you know, on any car, even a stock car, you could upgrade the intercooler. And when you will see that benefit is on repeated back-to-back -back acceleration. Uh, so the intercooler can release a certain amount of heat within a certain amount of time before it heat soaks. And that's obviously, you know, based on how fast you're going, how much load you're putting on the engine, things like that. So when you flash your ECU uh, with our tuning, we, we use the turbo harder. We run more boost. That generates more heat. So that means the factory intercooler will heat soak very quickly. Now, does that mean if you if you're in third gear and you want to squirt from 3,000 RPM to 6,000 RPM, that a upgrade intercooler make a big difference in that very limited circumstance? Probably not. Probably wouldn't be very noticeable. But if you want to accelerate through that and then shift gears and, and accelerate through two more gears after that, the factory intercooler will heat soak right away. And then what's and what will eventually happen is is our tune will start pulling boost and load back to generate less heat so that the stock intercooler can get caught up again. So whenever you increase the cooling capacity of your intercooler, you're allowing the system to deal with more load over a longer period of time. And then as ambient temperatures go up, this becomes dramatically more important. Uh, you could get a, you could get away with a lot smaller intercooler when it's 50 degrees out, but when it's 95 degrees out, you know, the amount of intercooler you need grows dramatically.